Okay, so it's time to check on our cuttings um, that we processed a few weeks ago. And we've been checking on them throughout uh, the season, taking a look. So here's what we what we have going on. So we got some figs and some pomegranates in there. And I use a sprayer here with uh, rainwater in it. And it's pressurized, so you just turn it on and mist everything down. And you just sort of try to keep a nice moisture, moisture in there. How often do you do that? Spray the walls. Um, I mean, if it's warm, you could do this almost every day, but I've used a medium down there with peat moss and perlite, so it would retain a bit of moisture. Um, and at this point, everything's calloused off, and you can see there aren't many leaves, so it's really not that crucial to be misting it anymore, um, but something like this. So, yeah, there might be some roots on that, actually. You know, this one's starting to come through. That feels like there's some roots there, too. You know, I'm just sort of, yeah, there, it feels like there's roots on a lot of these, actually. You know, I'm just giving them a little tug um, and just seeing, you know, if there's any give. So here's our, our cutting setup. You can see we have everything labeled, you know, um, it just, it's convenient. I can do this all in one box. And, you know, people have different thoughts on this, but I actually, I'm leaving this in the sun. Um, it actually gets warm, which is good for root growth. That just means you have to monitor the moisture a little bit more closely. Um, you can also go ahead and, you know, spray the bottom of the uh of the lid and stuff just you know get it as as you know wet as you sort of want it to be um just a nice humid environment and that's all that we're going to do today so we'll put our lid back on and we'll let nature do her thing and we'll have some new trees in a in a couple months